Yes. Excel chapter three grader. We're going to work on airline arrival analysis, which is 1.3 today. And if you look at the spreadsheet, we only have one tab. So we're going to go on down to step one, and that's downloading the file E03 grader H1 Excel. And once you're there, the first task we have to do is to insert some spark lines. So it's asking you to highlight the range G4 to G7, but also to use the data B4 to F7. So if you'll start using the data. So we're going to come over here to B4, which is right underneath the number 2010, and highlight all the way over to F7. All right, so once you've done that, that's going to be their interactive data that's going to make spark lines. Spark lines are like a miniature visual graph to give you an, uh, a visual indication of what those cells of data say. So now we go over to insert, and on the insert column, we come all the way over to spark lines and then hit the line. Okay? I am on number two. Insert spark lines. Does yours look the same? No, I didn't. Um, the first thing I did was highlight my data range. So I came over here and highlighted B4 to F7. Then I went to insert and told spark lines that I wanted to locate it somewhere else. And so now I click location range, which is the second, and I click in trends and I pull down from G4 to G7. And that gives your location range of where we want the spark lines to appear. That spark lines pop up box came when we highlighted our data. We went to insert and we went to spark lines. Did you save your spreadsheet? Once we have the chart highlighted and we have our location of G4 to G7, you'll look at the create spark lines pop-up box automatically gives you those dollar signs. That means absolute cell reference. We don't want to go past G7 and we don't want to go to the right of G4. So we click OK and then small little lines appear. Oops. Small little lines appear and show you a visual view of your data. On step three, it asks us to display the high and low points for our spark lines. So now our spark lines are over here in trends. And what we need to do is your design tab should come up once those are highlighted right here. And what you want to do, what you want to do is, can you guys still see, join me? Okay, what you want to do is make sure those are highlighted, then come under design, and then we have a marker color. We're asked to display the high and low points, but it didn't give us colors. So all we do at this point is just click high point. Well, I'm going to put red. Let's try red. And then for the marker color, let's put low point. What should the low color be? There's a little checkbox to the left of the show. Mm -hmm. highlight high and low, it will be for you. Yeah, that's what I mm -hmm. do. Does it ask you to change it? Yeah, it only says high point, so you Right over here to the left, you can click high point and you can click low point. Okay? So we're going to go to step four, and for the range containing spark lines, change the high point marker color to green. And I had said red, so we're going to try that again. We're going to come to marker color. We're going to go to high point, and we're going to put green. Normally, when it just gives you a green, red, or blue, it wants you to go to standard colors. So we're going to click green. And I've done four steps. I want to save. And that's the end of step four. 
Now it's telling us in step five to select the range A4 to A7. So you're going to click A4 to A7, which is basically your titles of your different times of plane arrivals. And then it asks you to also select the range F4 to F7. So you can hold your control key and click F4 to F7. You've basically grabbed the data for only the year 2014 and on time arrivals, late arrivals canceled and diverted. And now it says create a pie chart and we're going to move the pie chart to a pie chart worksheet. So we come up here to insert and on insert I like to go all the way over to the little bitty arrow that says see all charts and I'm going to click see all charts and it's recommending a pie chart. I'm going to come on over to all charts and I'm going to go down to pie and see my different choices. You have 2D and 3D choices it doesn't tell us which default to go for. I'd go for the first one. And once you click that, once you click that, it inserts it right on top of the data. But that's not what we want. So if you click the white space of the chart, your design tab and chart tools will appear. And over on the far right is move chart. We want to move chart to a new sheet right up here at the top. And we want to call that new sheet pie chart and you do want a space between the words pie and chart you want them both capitalized but with no period once you finish that you click OK and then down here at the bottom you'll see that you now have a new tab called pie chart and that is the end of step four five step six Type 2004 flight arrivals at the chart title. So up here in chart title, I'm going to go ahead and move my bar away just a second. Up here in chart title, you want to double click chart title and highlight it. And type 2014 flight arrivals. And you want to save. And that's end of step six. Step seven, apply the style 12 chart style to format the chart title with a blue font and color. So if you pick the, the whole chart area, this white space of the whole chart area, and then come over here to chart tools, you have all these choices for chart style. You want to come down here. I believe it's the last one. It doesn't look way different. You see orange, you see gray, a little bit of yellow, and blue. Click 12 chart style, and then we want to come back to the title. Highlight that title, and it's asking us to do it with a blue font color. I go ahead and go back to home, and I pick blue under the A font color which is that darker blue and make sure you save after you've made these changes and that's the end of step seven.